hello welcome back to the channel everyone welcome to my dungeony gym it's been a while <laughs> we're in the gym we're doing a little bit of some training today i figured i'd update you guys on training what's been happening all that jazz <laughs> it's been a while honestly i feel like weird talking to the camera not gonna lie but also it feels very but also it feels very similar in a way. Like I took a break for, well, since August, which is crazy to me. And we're back, trying to be back. I've already started psyching myself out when it comes to filming these videos. I literally started filming a video and then I psyched myself out and I was like, no, nah, it's not good enough, Nicole. And then, well, I stopped filming. <laughs> I need to get out of my head and honestly get a little more confident. I don't know why, like who cares? I'm just uploading this for, fun and having fun and chatting to you guys, not anything super serious. So I don't know why I put so much invisible pressure on myself. It's almost like imposter syndrome. I have really bad imposter syndrome. Yeah. Anyways, that is not the point of today's video. I'm also trying to put on my shoes and I can't untie this freaking knot. I'm also very delirious right now. It's about four o'clock. David just got home and it's been a long day with a toddler to say the least. I can't wait till warmer days come, not gonna lie. At this time of year, I really start struggling with my mental health because of the weather. And we've actually had a pretty warm weather, but when it's warm, there's not much sunlight. So it really does kind of get to you. And I find that it's starting to get to me, even though it's warm, there's just lack of sunlight, which sucks. But when it's really cold, there's sunlight. So you like are able to absorb from the sun, but it's really cold. But then on the other hand, if it's warm, it's cloudy outside. Like, that's the thing about summer, it's warm and sunny, whereas here it's like the off. Anyways, you guys aren't here for that. You guys are not here for that. So I'm gonna sit down and chat with you guys, kind of chat with you guys throughout the workout, I think. That's my plan. We'll see how it goes. But training, I have changed up my training quite a bit. So for the whole year, the all of last year, I followed well, for most of the year, I should say. I followed Decacomp training. So that's with Michelle Latombe, who trains Pat Vellner. I was following her programming, which was a comp it's competitive CrossFit training. And I always felt like they were always like, they were good. I liked their programming, don't get me wrong. I really did like it. And I felt like they always worked on accessory drills and always worked on like basic stuff for like gymnastics and things like that which was good. Like even if you're a high at level athlete, you still worked on basic things to be stronger in those elements. But I always felt like I was falling behind being a mom and training not being my main priority. I have my son, I have my business, then I have training. And um, unfortunately that was just really hard for me to keep up, especially with CrossFit. I've kind of like, started really struggling with my relationship with CrossFit because I feel like I can never keep up. I can never be good enough. There's always new movements coming out, especially as someone who really struggles in the gymnastics as aspect. And especially like since being like, I'm almost two years postpartum, my son's gonna be two. Um, I've really struggled with being consistent in my gymnastics and being able to get my gymnastics back. If you followed my channel from last year, well, last, well, this past year, um, pretty much from, I think, March till pretty much summer, I was dealing with injury on and off on my back. I was really struggling with back injury and my back is very sensitive, so I'm scared to do anything, scared to do any kipping movements because I'm scared that I'm going to re-injure my back. And even to this day, when I get close to my period, I can feel my lower back starting to like seize up and just have issues. If you don't know, I had a herniated disc and then I just had so many issues from there. Like I herniated it, started getting better, herniated again. Like it was like a lot of issues. And it was from like how I was holding my son, how I was holding my son and lifting, how I was sitting on the couch, all these different things were contributing to it. A lot of people like to say, oh, it's because you were doing CrossFit, literally not because of that. But I didn't want CrossFit to exaggerate or hurt myself even more. Um, but I did have good training regardless towards the end of the year. But then unfortunately, David had to go and work. So he leaves for weeks during the year and he left from September till 
December, mid-December, and he was home, he was gone for three weeks, home for one week, and during that time, I'm 100% on Cove, I am the one parent, I am solo parenting, Cove is not in daycare, so I'm with him all the time, which I am so grateful for, but I cannot train, I cannot just train all the time. If I was able to train, it was during his nap time, and even then, during his nap time, it was very short, so I only got a little bit in, and I was trying to work on top of that, and then it was just a whole hot mess. So I pretty much stepped back a little intentionally, a little not intentionally from weightlifting, CrossFit specifically, and I was also just feeling a little burnt out, a little disheartened and everything like that, and I was kind of like not sure the direction I wanted to go in. I was feeling like just kind of defeated because my back was just... I just spent months and months and months rehabbing my lower back, started having issues with my upper back, with a strain in my upper back, and I was trying to figure that out. Long story short, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm feeling a little lost. I'm feeling burnt out. And so I was like, you know what? Let's just do something easy. And at first I was like, okay, I'll start doing yoga. I like yoga, I do it once in, a time, once in a while and I don't mind it and I need to do it more often, honestly. But then I was like, okay, I don't mind doing yoga, but I wanna do something a little bit different, a little bit more challenging, something that I can get done pretty quick. And I started doing Pilates. I found Pilates on YouTube. I started following YouTube videos and I actually really liked it. It was really hard. I was surprised how hard Pilates was. Those Pilates girls, oh my gosh, they go hard. That is for sure. Um, yeah, so I really had a hard time. It was a challenging time with Pilates, but it was a good challenge that my body needed. It really worked on my core strength, which was something that I desperately needed to work on and something that I'm continuously working on. I just feel like it has never fully recovered after pregnancy, which I guess it never really does. That's pretty much just how it was going. Some people, are able to keep their course pretty good. And I don't know, just because with all the back injuries and all the stuff like that, I just feel like my core has always just been super off. Like it just isn't the same. Now that David's been home, I'm like, okay, I don't necessarily want to continue down doing Pilates. I miss weightlifting. I miss doing CrossFit a little. And I'm like, but I'm not really sure what I want to do. And my programming was up with DECA. So either I was going to renew for another year or try something different. And I was like, maybe I'll go to hard work pays off. Maybe I'll do this. And I'm like, do I really want to do another competitive CrossFit program? And I was like, really just feeling like not sure. And so I saw Simply Mander. She is here on YouTube. If you don't know who she is, I mean, are you living under a rock? She's got more followers than me. Okay, sorry, the, the heater just came on. It's cold as hell in here. Okay, so Simply Manders, she's here on YouTube obviously, and she has a workout program. And I really like the idea behind it because she doesn't have just CrossFit. She has some Olympic weightlifting, some CrossFit, some bodybuilding stuff and things like that. And I was like, okay, like I really want to work on longevity and working on building a strong foundation. And I was starting to do that with Pilates, which I was grateful for, but I felt like it needed to go a little bit further. And so I was like, okay, what are we doing? What do I need to do? And I'm, I've been having, like I said, these on and off issues with my lower back. I'm scared to re-injure it. I can always feel when it starts kind of niggling a little bit in my back and I'm like, oh no, is my back gonna like kind of injure itself, that kind of thing. So I was like, you know what? Her programming is actually really affordable. It was like 100 US for the year. I'm Canadian, so it's a little bit more expensive, like 150, which 150 dollars a year for programming is pretty cheap to say the least. Like very cheap compared to some of the other programs that I was looking at. And I was like, okay, you know what? Worst case, I start this, I take this for a year, I start working on this, and then I can either switch it up, add some more programming onto that, do some more specific programming, go back to doing a couple months of CrossFit programming, just kind of go with the flow. So I started her programming, I've been doing it for a couple weeks, I've been doing her Olympic lifting I think it's like an eight week program. And then I've also been doing her strength and hypertrophy, Hi hypertrophy, I can't say that word, workouts. And something that I really wanted to work on is a goal of mine is building my glutes. Now, I don't like saying that because I feel like every time when someone talks about glutes in the fitness world, it's like 
everyone's always like, booty this, booty that, do this booty workout, you need to have a booty. And I'm like, not everyone needs to have a booty, like let's just lift weights and have fun. Um, and so I hate saying that I'm working out my glutes, but at the same time, I need to work out my glutes, I need to strengthen my glutes. Those are the weakness of me, my like lower half of my body. Uh, my I'm very quad dominant, but I really wanna make sure that my glutes are stronger so that it kind of helps protect my lower back. So I've been doing her programming and it's been feeling really good. Honestly, working those glutes really good, which I'm really, really happy about. And I needed a little bit of guidance in a little bit more bodybuilding stuff. And I like her programs, they're not too bad. It does give me like a little bit of a taste of CrossFit, but not too competitive CrossFit, but it also gives me that heavy lifting aspect. And then also that like extra accessory work that I need to start working on. And I'm just happy with it. So that's kind of where my training has been going. Long story short, this is a whole video about my training pretty much. Um, but yeah, that's where I've been going. And so today we're gonna do some Olympic lifting and we're gonna be doing some lower body stuff because that is what I need to work on. I also did upper body yesterday and my upper body is honestly shot. I feel like I'm gonna be so stiff in my, in my snatches today. I suck at snatches by the way, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be super stiff in those. We'll see how they go, but that is the kind of goal for today. And if I don't start soon, I'm not gonna have enough time. So let's get warmed up real quick and start working out. I just put on my regular CrossFit Metcon Nike shoes, whatever you wanna call those. And I realized my mobility really, really sucks. And those are not gonna cut it for snatches today. So changing my shoes real quick again, unfortunately, but you know what? I'm feeling stiff and I feel like my catch position is not gonna be very good and I need as much extra lifting as I can get because whew, it's gonna be rough today. Can you like knock him out or something? Where is he? Ooh. Ooh. I don't know how I was just filming for like 15 minutes plus the last clip that you guys saw and I was warming up for my snatch and then I just saw a spider coming out of my tripod and it was sitting there. Oh, I just feel like I have the heebie-jeebies now. We're starting with Olympic lifting and we have some snatch and some snatch deadlift. We did this last week. We got to build up to a daily three rep max. Um, I think I built up to 85 pounds last time. I'm keeping everything relatively light because I want to do a slow progression and slowly build things. I'm not going to jump up like I normally do. I'm just scared to, so. We're gonna be sustainable this time and not go full out. So we'll see how today goes. And then we have some snatch deadlifts, three sets at 10 at 65 pounds. This is also, deadlifting has been a huge weakness of mine. Just being in that deadlift position really puts my back in a very vulnerable position, which sucks, because deadlift is like literally my favorite move. So we have to be a little careful on those and not go super heavy. So I'm kind of going, roughly at the percentages, not at my normal percentages that I would usually go at, but we're slowly gonna build it, okay? That's the goal. I think we'll start with 65 pounds, keep it light, see how those three, those three reps go. So we're gonna put the weight on the bar. I gotta move you guys so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm scared there's a spider on this tripod now. I'm really struggling right now in my snatches and this is just something I've always struggled with but since I've stopped them for a while I find that this has become just so much more prominent is that when I catch you probably can't see but this arm it is weaker and it tends to catch like this right away instead of in the good power position so that is something that I'm working on but it's always just a little tweaks and snatch snatches just so technical it drives me nuts sometimes but also a good challenge.
snatches are done. Everything's pissing me off. Not gonna lie, my hair, first of all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the thing is, in the summer, I usually have that garage door open and I'm usually facing out there, like I'm across the same length as the door and I do my Olympic lifting here in the winter. I can't really do that because I have a door right in my face and I don't want to throw the bar into the door by accident. So I have to lift here. Here, it's okay. Not great, it does the job. The only problem is like right about here where the plate is, there's like a drain, which I've already dropped the weight on by accident and cracked it. Not that great. I know I should put a piece of wood on there, just haven't gotten around to doing it yet, apparently. But also, something that is like just a little noticeable to me would be fine in a typical garage, but for me, for weightlifting, it's low key a little aggravating. But like right here, right where I stand, there's just a slant. So when I have my lifters on, that slant feels so much more. Like it's just a little slant, but then it feels like so much more when I have my lifters on and I feel like I'm leaning so far forward and my position is just so weird. So then when I was doing, it was okay when I was doing my snatches, it's light enough so it's not so bad. But when I was doing my deadlifts, I can deadlift, I can snatch grip deadlift in my lifting shoes. It's a good thing to do because you're practicing for snatches. It's fine. However, it was really making me mad today. I felt like I was leaning so far forward in my deadlifts. I felt like I was like tipping forward. So in the last set, I just kicked my shoes off because it was just driving me nuts. Felt a little bit better. My grip on the other hand, not so strong, not so hot, unfortunately. I should have been hook gripping. I just didn't. I need to take my thumbs for that and I just didn't. Next time, I think I will. But yeah, should have been hook gripping because my grip was just, the bar was just sliding out of those fingers like they were butter. So we're moving on to some lower body strength and we're starting off with barbell hip thrust. I never do these ever like very rarely i'm not really well equipped i don't have like a small enough bench to do my back so as you can see here i have a couple plates i have to put the 45s and a 10 and then like my ab mat set up that seems to do the job good enough i'm also not very just well at doing them because i never practice them this is like the fifth time in like probably the past three years that i've actually done these so that just shows how often I do these. Anyways, I'm doing six sets of eight reps. Let's see how that goes. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. My butt is already shaking. It hurts so bad. <laughs> If I don't have a booty by the end of this year, I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> I just have a very flat booty to start with. I have a very flat badonk donk, whatever you wanna call it. Yeah, I'm not genetically gifted in the booty area. That's okay, I'm really grateful for my muscles. I don't really care what the size of my butt is. I would just really like for my glutes to get really, really strong so that I don't have back issues and that it at least helps my back issues. All these glute things that I'm doing because I suck at these <laughs> to say the least. But you know what? Sometimes when we have a weakness, we don't wanna work on our weaknesses because it's hard to work on our weaknesses sometimes, but it is actually just so beneficial to work on our weaknesses. I've talked about this so many times, but it truly is to beneficial in the gym. If you wanna get stronger and better in the gym, you gotta work on your weaknesses. And right now, the weakness that I need to work on 
is the glutes, of course. So I know I did a lot of rambling in this video. My workout time has been a little bit longer than anticipated. I did about almost two hours in the gym today because I was just filming, talking. It makes everything a little bit slower. But I gotta run because it's supper time and toddlers, when it gets around supper time, <laughs> It's a little dicey. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It truly really does help the channel a lot. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. You guys know where it is. And I always say, don't forget to be unstoppable, but I guess I'll keep saying it. Don't forget to be unstoppable guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Summer days burn me out, love just brings me down Cold inside like winter leaves that slowly leave the ground Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance Love me like you used to, so we can learn again The skin is getting round, baby